Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction of the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D as their guys will do battle with Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit a little screen soon. And that is incomplete here. They always say the real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there threw it behind him. And I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now it's Roethlisberger. And just as you called it after the earlier sack, they set up the screen. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. Well, they took your advice from a bit earlier, tried the screen, but that one, it was covered up pretty well. They did a nice job on it, but I still think it was the right idea. Probably just a block or two away from making it work. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Now Roethlisberger on first down. He'll get this one to Switzer. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Goes underneath for Bell. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make it second down. Here's the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And he takes this down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun, and they ran out of it. That's a nice play. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Past the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Well, it was third down defensively. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. Off. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the tone. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Well, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they are in a fight for the AFC North, a fight for their playoff lives, but 
If they find themselves playing in January, they might look back to that Week 15 win over New England as really the thing that got them over the top. And remember, that stopped a three-game losing streak. And when you talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers fighting for their lives to go to the playoffs, they fought in that game against New England, got off the deck, and they came out swinging and played really, really well. So if they go down, qualify for the playoffs, win the AFC North, and if they're dangerous, that will be the game. I agree with you totally. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers. The ball comes out, and the Cowboys have recovered. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and, in this case, lose the football? So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. They'll pitch it out to Elliott. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. He needed a yard. That's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. Now a play fake here on first down. Flushed out right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Amari Cooper, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Now for the point after. The extra point splits the uprights. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is gonna wind up incomplete. Second and 10, it's Roethlisberger once more. Over the middle here to Brown. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. They give him a gain of 38. You know, when I see passes like that, I'm reminded of something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school, sitting behind the coach's son, and then he finally got that opportunity. I think he's trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. Following 
and the interception. Here's Prescott. Flush to his right. He'll let it fly for Austin. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays. And you don't get many opportunities to dial them up. And they just did. And they dropped it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Prescott from the gun on third. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Fourth down, Prescott. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. A first down carry by Elliott. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to... And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. And he knocks it through. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking... And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. And the interception earlier now is sack. And he's going to go down again. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. 14 yards, but they're still well shy of a first as that leads to fourth down. Here's Roethlisberger. That's to his running back. Complete. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. Well, partner, as the Cowboys come back out here, I want to ask you to assess the season. The first couple months of the year for Dallas, starting to look like they'd be sitting at home in January. Then the Amari Cooper trade comes. They breeze through November unbeaten, part of a five-game winning streak. But then a real head scratcher. Week 15, they get shut out in Indianapolis. You just wonder if all the wins that got them there, those five, which were all tough, physical, hard-hitting battles, it took a little bit out of them before they went on the road and lost Indianapolis in Week 15. But if they get to the playoffs, which it looks like they're going to, are they a threat to New Orleans? Are they a threat to Los Angeles? Are they a threat to Chicago? 
To me, they are only if it's a low-scoring physical affair. That's when Dallas plays at its best, and that's what they'll have to do to reduce some of those high-flying teams like New Orleans and Los Angeles. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be what he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. And when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. It'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. <laughs> but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry okay. about that. But normally <laughs> I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time, first half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. Well, partner, like we always do this time of year with the holidays here and me happy for once. <laughs> I want to say happy holidays to you, to your family, and to everybody out there in Madland. I like how you said that. Before I do go on, though, happy holidays to you, your family, and everyone you. out there in Madland as well. And, and he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Demarcus Lawrence. In there to get him for a loss of five. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. You've been in constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Now they got to get to the line quickly. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. The rush defense is nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A surprising move to go for it, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Prescott now. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys continue to pour it on. Well, the defense did their job, and then boom, a one-play drive. The offense does their job pretty well, too. Is that called rewarding them and thanking them for what they did? They went right out and put points on the board. Thank you so much for getting us the football. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down... Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, hey, hey. hey 
I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't put under pressure. They got him again. David Irving in there to record another sack. Their sixth of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. It's never a bad idea to try and get it to Antonio Brown, but there must be a little bit of the Madden curse going on for our cover athlete here. Hasn't been able to get that elite separation that we're used to seeing from him. To throw here, Roethlisberger. He gets it to Brown, complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. They give him 27 yards on the third down conversion. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. He got 29 yards that time. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Let's go. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Final play of the half. It's Roethlisberger. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. As his guys are in for six, and the Steelers are able to strike for six. I'm not sure that they have illusions right now of, okay, we're going to score eight times in a row and we're going to be terrific. But to get one, that was huge for them. That has to feel much better right now. And you do have, we're still in the first half. You do have the entire second half. It's something about that goose egg that just looked bad on that. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. And the Cowboys are able to recover. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee you he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. Second half starts with a carry by Elliott. Look at the spin. Balance. The 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 43 yards. And the Cowboys add on. He keeps carrying the ball into the end zone. And in this one, he's sort of carrying the team on his back. He's the reason that they lead right now. No question about it. And you talk about on his back, he's not minding the extra weight at all, is he? Carrying that just as lightly as he does the football. Yeah, those, what a great performance so far. Those three touchdowns, it's got him in the lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. 
Tyrone Crawford in there with pressure yet again. And that's the seventh time they've dropped him here this afternoon. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Tyrone Crawford in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Now Ben on third and long. And the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Demarcus Lawrence in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. They'll indeed go for it with Roethlisberger. And the pressure gets to him again. Demarcus Lawrence getting him once again his third sack. Out, out, ballet, walk out, I'll leave Ben.